Preparation of the Kayaxel Advanced prior to analyte analysis is easy. Just follow these steps. Make sure that sufficient nitrogen is available. If necessary, insert a new nitrogen cylinder into the Kayaxel Advanced. It is important to ensure the bottle is tightly inserted to prevent nitrogen leaks. After the cylinder is pierced by the instrument, make sure that it is fully tightened. Allow all reagents to equilibrate to room temperature. Fill the WP and WI positions of the buffer tray with 8 milliliters of QX wash buffer. Fill the buffer position with 18 milliliters of the appropriate separation buffer. Carefully add mineral oil to cover all three positions to prevent any evaporation. Add 2 milliliters of mineral oil to the positions WP and WI. Add 4 milliliters of mineral oil to the buffer position. It is crucial to stick to the correct buffers and volumes. Do not forget to overlay with mineral oil. Before inserting the cartridge into the Kayaxel Advanced, ensure the purge cap seal is removed. In addition, remove any residual gel or liquids from the capillaries and the purge port. To insert the cartridge, the cartridge door needs to be opened. Insert the cartridge with the description label facing toward the front of the Kayaxel Advanced. After that, insert the smart key into the smart key socket in either direction. The system will not recognize the cartridge if the smart key is not inserted. Once the smart key is inserted, the Kayaxel Advanced will latch the cartridge automatically if this option is selected in the configuration settings. The cartridge cannot be moved anymore once it is latched. The buffer tray can now be inserted. Every kit is delivered with an intensity calibration marker, which is required to perform the calibration run. It is necessary to calibrate every Kayaxel cartridge prior to the first sample analysis to normalize the intensity of each capillary. This corrects for natural intensity reading variations between the capillaries in the cartridge. If you run a cartridge on another Kayaxel Advanced, it needs to be calibrated again. A cartridge can be calibrated up to five times. Load 15 microliters of QX intensity calibration marker into a 0.2 milliliter 12 tube strip. Add a drop of mineral oil and insert the strip into the marker 2 position of the buffer tray. To launch the calibration run, go to the service environment of the Kayaxel screen gel software. Go to the calibration screen and click on start calibration. Once the calibration is complete, the calibration result, passed or failed, is displayed next to the gel image. You can then check the calibration details in the software. Once the calibration is successful, the Kayaxel cartridge can be used. If the calibration fails, we recommend performing a hot water purge, as described in the troubleshooting section of the user manual. The Kayaxel alignment marker is required in every run on every position to compensate for migration differences between the different capillaries. This prevents the smiley effect, which you would see on a classical agarose gel. There are different alignment markers available. Depending on the method you are using and fragment sizes being analyzed, select the appropriate alignment marker. For DNA applications, the alignment marker contains an upper and lower fragment of known size. For RNA applications, the RNA alignment marker that is included in the kit contains a single 15 base fragment. During the analysis, all fragments in different channels are aligned with each other based on the fragments of the alignment marker. To prepare the alignment marker, load 15 microliters of alignment marker into each tube of a QX 0.2 milliliter 12 tube strip. Add one drop of mineral oil to each tube and place the strip into the marker 1 position of the buffer tray. The alignment marker should be replaced after 50 runs or 3 days, whichever happens first. Using the alignment marker for a longer time can cause degradation of the contained fragments. The size marker is used to determine the fragment size and the concentration of the fragment of interest. The size marker needs to be loaded in one position per run. There are different size markers available. Depending on the method and alignment marker used and fragment sizes being analyzed, the appropriate size marker is selected. For optimal DNA size determination, select the size marker with fragments closest to the size of your DNA sample. After having performed a run with size marker included, it is possible to create and save a reference marker which can be applied in future runs when using the same cartridge and method without having to run the size marker again. 
The KayXL Fast Analysis Kit includes a ready-to-use size marker which should be used undiluted. For the other DNA kits, the size marker should be diluted depending on the method used. For low concentration methods, dilute the size marker to 10 nanograms per microliter and for moderate concentration methods, dilute it to 30 nanograms per microliter. For high concentration methods, dilute the size marker to 50 nanograms per microliter. Dilute the size marker in QX DNA dilution buffer unless undiluted samples are used. If undiluted samples are used, we recommend dilution of the size marker in the same buffer as the samples. For each run, a volume of at least 10 microliters of size marker is required. For the samples, a minimum volume of 10 microliters with a minimum amount of 1 nanograms analyte is required. In addition, it is important to select the appropriate method type in the software depending on the concentration of the samples. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you find it useful. Kyogen. Sample to Insight.